Bonjour mon ami. Well, good morning. It's a bit of a cloudy uh, morning today, but uh, um, this one's going to be a little bit on the uh, veggie patch so far. As you can see, we've got lots coming up at the moment. Um, I did get the tractor out uh, yesterday and extend, can you believe it, make the vegetable pot even bigger. Um, there's one lesson I've learned there. Um, as you can see, I've tilled this little part, this L-shaped part here, um, and then comparing it, well, we've got potatoes in here, but if we compare it with what we got here, really big lumps, and I tilled that, oh, must have been two months ago. Well, if we uh, do the same with this stuff, really nice and fine. Look at that, eh? Really fine. So I've learned a lesson there. Um, perhaps don't be in too much of a rush to till your land until it's uh, dry enough. Otherwise, it all clumps up, especially in this clay. But uh, as subscribers say, he found my last video about the veg pot very interesting. I didn't know what we got in here. So anyway, we've got uh, two rows of potatoes here. Charlotte's, this is this first row, um, that have just come up, or just coming up. Uh, they're a little bit behind the, I don't know how to pronounce these ones, but Desiree or Desire. So they're coming up. We do have some leeks just showing in amongst the weeds there, but I don't want to hoe it yet until they're all the way up so I can tell which is which, weed from um, leek. Um, as you can see, these two rows are just full of onions and uh, they're doing really, really well at the moment. We got onions in there, we got charlottes in there, um, shallots, um, etc. And then over here on these two rows, uh, we've got carrots in here, they're just showing their heads. Um, we've got beetroot, which are again, just coming up. Um, no, I can't remember what these ones are. Let me just have a quick look, see what we've got on here. Oh yeah, that, that beetroot, uh, what, sorry, swedes. So they need thinning out in the next few weeks. Coming back round, carrots. And then we go into cauliflowers in here. It's funny how one set of uh, packet of seeds do really well, and then another set doesn't do half as well. And then we got two rows of cabbage down there. Um, the rhubarb, out of the three that we planted, we've only got two come up, um, but one of them's doing really well, as you can see. Um, and then here we've got our runner beans, which again, uh, we've lost a few in the frost, but hey ho, there's enough there for us. And then let me just go the other side. And then we got our peas, uh, which is our, um, me and Heather put up our uh, trellis work for the peas, but they're doing really, really well. And then right at the very end, we've got spring onions that are just starting to come up. So I've tilled this area here. It's quite a big area. Probably what? Oh, five metres by four metres. And then that little bit there at the end of the potato row will be for sweet corn. But we've um, um, extended it because we've got some... Uh, other things to go in there, and I'll just show you what we've got in our seed trays, ready. Our little makeshift greenhouse, working really well. Water tanks working excellently. We had a little bit of rain the other day, and got 200, uh, 200, 400 litres of water out of it. So we've got lots of lettuce here, coming up, that they've got to be uh, thinned out and uh, put out, and a tray of, what is that, um, cucumber. The um, tomatoes are growing slightly, but they're still on their way. 
we've got oh Heather planted up some broccoli in there and then these are just flowers um, got a sweet corn growing there in fact, that might actually be one just coming up uh, sweet corn uh, French beans and extra fine beans there as well uh, somebody gave us an old packet of seeds thank you Peter um, and we're gonna try and see whether they they actually work so um, lots going on in the uh, vegetable garden I will uh, put up another video about double glazing what a saga um, but I will uh, do that as well but once again Trevor the tractor who is tucked up in bed over there at the moment worked really well tilling this over I'm really pleased the way it's come out this time um, looks good so we can get our uh, lettuces cucumbers in there and we've got some strawberries over uh, in the uh, back garden which we might actually bring over um, to here as well so we're getting a really good crop at the moment um, hopefully uh, all going well uh, later in the year we'll have uh, something to eat from the fruits of our labour so anyway until next time au revoir